Facts First presents Experts uncovered the ghostly wreck of a French submarine 51 years after it mysteriously vanished. On January 27, 1968, a French submarine called the Minerve was engaged in an exercise with a military aircraft. There were 52 crew members on board. When the military lost communication with the sub, the military began preparing a search. They were determined to bring the crew members home who were working on the sub when it disappeared. The military didn't spare any expense when it came to finding the Minerve. In the days that followed the sub's disappearance, the military gathered 20 boats, helicopters, and various other aircraft. Jacques Cousteau even got involved with the search. The famous oceanographer sent a diving vessel down into the water to search for the sub. Unfortunately, nothing was found. According to Rear Admiral Dominique Salas, they didn't have the technical capabilities to perform a thorough search at such great depths. Admiral Salas is the president of an organization that represents submarine crews. The families of those aboard the Minerve were devastated and needed answers. Further searches were conducted from 1968 to 1970. When they found nothing, the crew members' families were still left with no answers. According to Admiral Salas, the loss of the sub and all 52 crew members shocked the French Navy. The Minerve was one of the most sophisticated subs in the fleet, and the families of the crew members and the Marine officers themselves were all traumatized after the loss. After the sub disappeared, and for years after, the families of the crew members still demanded answers. They were sure their loved ones were gone, but they weren't sure where they were. Hervé Falve was just a child when he got word that his father, who was one of the crew members, was lost at sea. He says he remembers two Navy officers sitting in his living room telling his mother that Lt. André Favre was commanding the Minerve when it was lost. He says he remembers his mother looking at him with pain in her eyes and said, "'Your daddy is dead. His submarine has sunk.'" Hervé says that the news hit him hard, and for years he wondered what had happened to his father. In January 2018, the families of the lost crew members gathered in Toulon to remember their loved ones on the 50th anniversary of the sinking. Admiral Salas participated in the commemoration and said that the ceremony brought the memories of the sailors back to life. Their families weren't lost anymore, but they still needed answers. During the celebration, the families urged the French government to conduct a new search. They knew their loved ones were long gone, but they still wanted to know where their final resting place was located. They wanted to know where the submarine landed when it sank. Fortunately, today the government has access to much better technology and were able to search much greater depths than we could 50 years ago. A new preliminary search was conducted in February of 2018 and resumed in July of 2019. The seabed constructor joined in on the search and they used autonomous underwater vehicles to search for the Minerve. And finally, there were results. The wreckage was found by the Norwegian-flagged research vessel Seabed Constructor. It was discovered 28 miles from the southern French port city of Toulon. It was sitting on the sea floor, over 7,800 feet below the surface of the water. It was the same vessel that found a San Juan submarine that had gone missing in 2017 off the coast of Argentina. There were 44 sailors on board that vessel. Fortunately, the families of the crew didn't have to wait 51 years for answers the way that the crew of the Minerve did. The Minerve was found in three parts, spread across 330 yards. According to the Stanislas Gentian, a spokesperson for the Mediterranean's Maritime Prefecture in Toulon, the first four letters of the sub's name. M-I-N-E, were visible in the central part of the wreckage. That's how the search team was able to identify the wreck. According to Mr. Gentine, the wreckage is not going to be brought up to the surface, and there will be no further investigation. As much as they would like to know how the sub sank, experts believe that what's left of the sub won't give them any answers. They're just happy that they finally were able to provide the crew members' families some closure. Now that the French government knows the location of the ill-fated sub, they're planning to have a ceremony for the lost crew members. It's going to take place in the early fall and will be held at sea, right over where the wreckage was found. Subscribe for more!